Alright, Pisces, I was going to take a break, but I've decided against it. Let's just knock your love, that love reading out. I don't know where, honey, I just see where you've been too generous, and it's just got you nowhere. You're very stable. You're very kind. You're very generous. But it isn't getting you anywhere. This is someone doing too much. If you're willing to do everything, you're a big hearted person, Pisces. You want to do for people because you have the means to do so, but you're getting fucked. A lot of Three of Swords bullshit. You're suffering and your heart's suffering. You know, and I, you probably know the heart suffering and it makes you want to give to people. And I understand that, thought darling, but you're going to get used. calling judgment or not. This person who was um, offering you some type of love offer, but they were very slow. And it's like shit or get off the pot. That's what I see. Shit or get off the pot. Judgment with the Nine of Cups. You've got a very divine light around you right now with those ten of pentacles on your life. You're very stable. And even if you already have the ten, say this is somebody at six figures a year, it's only going up. You're already at a hundred grand a year. It, you're just going to continue to increase because you have good resources. You've got the money. This is somebody who is inventive, creative. They double their money. They invest well. They're stable. They're practical. They're down to earth. They're wise. They got good resources. They have experience. They're older. They know what to invest in. They know liabilities and uh, assets. They know, you know. So, Selfish, selfish, hoarding their money. Okay. Um, all right. Start from the bottom now we're here. Pisces. Um, you could be kind of selfish right now because in the past you didn't have it. You don't come from money, girl. You don't. You got a lot of bad memories to type of lifestyle we had in the past. Okay, this is a love reading. Yeah, here, thank you. Finally. But here's this freaking huge love offer. Huge. New beginning in love. That is Ten of Pentacles. I can't give you a better love reading than that. Understand that. I mean, you two are a fucking power couple. Whoever's presenting you this offer, they got money like that. And it's almost like you're letting this person go. I've got too many bad memories. I got too many bad memories of um, you being selfish and shitty and shysty and stealing from me. Hoarding my money, stealing my money. Because in the past, you have very bad memories. This person was offering you a new beginning in love. They were stealing and they were selfish with you, especially when it came to money. And there was some type of wish fulfillment here. But it was a single energy. It's like, this is a bad memory. You know, I feel like you may have invested with someone, really gave them... The red carpet, ten of pentacles here, you know, down on one knee almost. And this person was selfish and schemy. I got a lot of bad memories. I really tried to create a good uh, life here, a wish fulfillment. Okay. This person. 
person really stole money from you, resources. And you were really happy with this person, not knowing that this fuckery was going on in the background. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why it's challenging. You don't know if you're being manipulated. Is Am I being manipulated? You're wishy-washy. You're on the fence. You don't know if you're being manipulated, if this person is being selfish with you, if this is just another bad memory. You don't like the way this person makes you feel. But there's another side of you that feels like wish fulfillment, but it also feels very single. Nowhere near 10, you're a nine. You know, 10 is completion, nine is single. Missed opportunity, yeah. You're really wishy-washy because you feel like this is manipulation. This person, Ten of Pentacles are offering you everything and there's a missed opportunity here in the recent past. It's like, I think I'm going to pass on this. In the past, this person was very selfish and stole from me. I got a lot of bad memories where I was a fool, especially with the full reverse. I was a fucking fool. I, I thought I was in wish fulfillment. Lo and behold, I was a pawn. See, a pawn. I don't know if you want to check something like a bank account or something. I saw you being robbed. This is somebody who robbed you. Stole it all. And this person just uh, sweet as pie to your face. A lot of bad memories. There's a lot of arguing and who's right and who's wrong. Who's right and who's wrong. Who's lying. Who's cheating? Who's lying? Who's being selfish? There's a lot of right and wrong and a lot of fighting. And someone's sticking to their guns. It's like, I'm sticking to my guns. I've seen this shit before. I know what sketchy behavior looks like. You're being selfish. Yeah, you're sticking to your guns. If you're this person isn't going to change your mind. You've seen sketchy behavior before. You've seen selfish behavior before. Sticking to your guns. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna miss this opportunity. I see too. And the present energy, there's too much fighting. The reason that you're holding your ground is because of the sketchy, the scheminess, and the selfishness. You in the future, um, this might be somebody that just be happy being single, honestly, because you're looking for reciprocity and you're okay being. Um, you're not trying to fill a void with the nine of cups. I need thing. I need to be treated fairly when it comes, you know, I don't mean to mix money with love, but it is part of it, okay? You know your worth, and you just want somebody to show up and bring what you bring to the table, Six of Pentacles. And then I see the Nine of Cups, that you're going to, you're fine being single until you get there. You've learned a lot of valuable lessons in your past with the Six of Cups reverse. That is bad memories. You got a lot of bad memories. You've learned lessons before where people were only after your resources. You feel like there is manipulation going on here. This is a, an opportunity you're going to pass on. I don't feel like it's a missed opportunity either. I feel like it's an opportunity you're passing on. I feel like uh, you're not sure if you're being manipulated and you can only go off the past and what you've learned in that lesson. Um, and you look good. You're sassy, classy, you're a leader, and you're some type of star. You're good looking. I, I, you know, gratefully so. You want to be treated fairly? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Here we go again. Damn it. Okay, you feel like there's um this... Mm, You feel like there's other people in the mix. You don't trust this person as far as you can throw them. And it's because you feel like there's a third part. That there's third parties in the mix. That this person's a, um, a skeezer. 
she's a fake, she's a fraud, she's a part-time broad. I see somebody just not, you know, you ain't with the shit, it's five of pentacles. Um, I'm going to pass on this. I'm going to say no and escort this person to the door. Have a good night, darling. You have five of pentacles, six of pentacles. No. You're not willing to participate in any type of third-party schemey bullshit. You are rejecting it now. You know your worth and you want reciprocal energy. You want someone who's going to go half, half uh, bring what you bring to the table. Go half with you. Show up the way you show up. I don't blame you. You know your worth. You're not putting up with this shit. This third party schemey bullshit. No. And then this person comes and they you're at the six and they're at the five. They don't bring what you bring. You're not with it. You're not with it. You're not. Nope. nope. You're willing to cooperate. Uh, you're willing to cooperate with someone, but you're keeping your options open. You are. You're, it's, um, I'm looking for it too. Turn on lights, turn on lights. Yeah, you're keeping your options open. Yeah, you want to cooperate with someone, but you're just going to keep your options open. You've learned lessons in the past. Damn. Damn it. So I can't get out of this energy. I mean, it's like, how many times are we going to pull this seven of swords? Damn. There's just this sneaky ass grimy person. This person's very schemy. Pisces. I don't know what to say here. You're pulling it over and over and over. Okay, now I understand. Oh, uh, Pisces. Now I get it. Yeah, okay. Pisces, look. You were really done terrible in the past. This person really fucked you over. They were very schemy with you. I mean, deceptive to the 10th degree. They were very, very deceptive. I don't think you could trust a word out of this person's mouth. I saw the third party. Now your guard's up so fucking high that you feel like everybody's going to do you like this. You are so anxiety ridden that the next person's going to do this to me. That when anybody presents you with a new beginning in love, you cut the shit off immediately. Like, nope. You're too afraid of the Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords. You're too afraid of the betrayal. You're too afraid. Yeah, I'm sorry. Really trying to trust your intuition on the new beginning at love, but you don't fully trust your intuition because you were fucked so hard in the past with the negative memories and you being so content not knowing that you were being stole from and fucked i get it darling i do you know maybe it's just not time yet maybe you just need to be by yourself a little bit and i, I think i already covered that that this is somebody Who's just gonna, um, you're willing to cooperate with people, but um, you don't have any voids to fill. I saw you, Nine of Cups. You're not trying to fill any voids. Um, but you're not all the way healed. Okay. You're very ambitious right now and you look you're very stable and you're very wise when it comes to what to invest in whether that's money careers or people i just see you very focused on your bag right now i do you're very stable you're a go-getter you're very ambitious and you're going for stability you know i think that there's a fresh new start with whatever it is financially for you and that kind of fulfills you you know if there's a void to fill this is it and this is what you're pursuing at the time 
um, maybe this is just what you need to do for now. You know, I think that this will be good for you because you're going to rub elbows with like-minded people. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. And if you haven't made, if you're this concerned about it where you don't feel like you can trust your intuition, you just burned too bad in the past, the person that's going to present the right offer to you is really going to put all your insecurities to rest. You will not have a doubt in your mind that there's anything wrong. Okay. I just think we've got a little bit more healing to do. And while we're, while we're doing that, there's nothing wrong with chasing money. I see you doing extremely well in that arena, by the way. Extremely well. You're highly ambitious. You're highly stable. You're a leader. You have experience. Um, this is somebody that might have a college degree. You're going places. Ace of Wands. Um, you're passionate about what you do. You know about what you, And this is somebody that would like turn a hobby into work. You enjoy it. You get, this is something that gets you up out of bed in the morning to do. Might just want to stay here for now. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be one of these readers that sell you a dream and say, oh, it's right around the corner. No, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. I see there's just too many concerns at this time. You're not ready. Seven swords, seven swords, seven swords, nine, nine of swords, nine, yeah, you're not ready. But you are doing well in one arena, and that's where I put my energy. And level up, get around like-minded people until you feel comfortable again. You know, there's some work to be done here. Mm -hmm. When you're ready to take a risk, you will with the Knight of Cups. You will. Okay, that's the best I can give you for now, Pisces. Take care.